Well, it let's let's say up. um let's say you just got the arendels. I don't think you have the whole arendel set up yet, right? Mm -hmm. No. So the well, only you might you might want to hold off because I know my Patreon guys have already seen this. Let me add this to the chat. Uh-oh. But what does this look like? What does are that look you, like? Are you allowed that to looks show? like per listen. That is per listen. But what does that waveguide look like? That looks like Arendal. Well, you know who it, it designed to Arendal? Yep, Dan Romer. Dan Romer, the man. Look at that. Those are does cool. Does look like your speaker? Yeah. So is this some type of like hybrid? What is no, this? it's a new speaker. Oh, so, this so, is, like, so yeah. I'm assuming these are going to be priced lower? I think so because it doesn't have the DPC, the mid range, you know, the tweeter mid range, yeah. mid range beam thing. Yeah, module. yeah, beam forming, mm -hmm. correct. So Shane, yeah. but that looks awesome though. Subject. That looks awesome. Right now they're only for Asia. Yeah. They're in Asia right now. Interesting. She's great. Man, I like those speakers. Man, that looks that looks pretty sweet. I'm curious to see what their price point is going to be. Uh, if they are priced within a few hundred bucks, or maybe just like a thousand dollars, slightly less than a thousand bucks, from a rental. Um, you might as well just kiss a rental goodbye because nobody's gonna buy a rental anymore. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm telling you that right now. Yeah. Yeah, those bird, those bird, are sweet. Bird. Did did you did they have a uh, monitors too? Did you show or is it just the floor standards? They have an LCR and um the floor standards. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, where are they? Boom. That's the floor. Here's the yeah, right there. The I love that design. There it is, man. Yeah. That looks that looks sweet, man. Yeah. D straight on, it looks like they're. You know, like it's like popping out, but they're really kind of flush. They're kind of flush. Yeah, I was looking at that. Yeah, that's it's nice. Kind of I'm curious to see the measurements on that too. Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder. I assume. I don't know. I was gonna say I assume these aren't gonna be Dominus, but I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I doubt it. Not with one tweeter. Probably so not. Yeah. The problem with the single tweeter of any speaker, I don't care what the price is, is that at high volumes they will compress. That's why people use an array of tweeters or a big ribbon tweeter or a compression horn. You know, if you want that big giant kick your, you know, in the dirt, you know, most of your speakers, to all the THX speakers in years past all had an array of tweeters and whatnot to, yep. to achieve the dispersion, also the, the dynamic output. Yeah, XTZ, uh, MNK, Tecton has them as well. Tecton has like all the tweeters. Yeah, they got all. I, I don't know. Yeah. I think they're the ugliest speaker ever made, but I know people love them. Sure, they sound. I think they're cool. I think they look like like I bug don't. eyes, like spider eyes, because <laughs> you got so many tweeters. I think they're cool. I, these are like these are awesome looking. Those are awesome. I like I these better them. than my. I like them better than my R series. Really, looks wise. Looks wise. Okay, I actually don't. I actually like the way the the both of them look R series and S series. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's different and unique. But as soon as I saw them, I was like. I like them. Oh, I like them all. <clears throat> yeah, these yeah, look yeah, these cool. look really cool. I have to admit these. And they they cool. look almost like alien ish. Yeah, they're yeah. dope. They're super cool. Yeah. You think they'll yeah. still be THX? Probably, Probably THX. Ultra. 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 Yeah. Ultra two yeah, or whatever. Most likely. Yeah, I'm sure they will be. 